three runners for trainer Cliffy Miller on Friday, chatting to Nick Paddock about their chances. They'll start off in race one with future time. And uh, Nick, she started for the yard for the first time in her last start, and unfortunately she was quite hot on race day. Yeah, I think she pretty much ran a race before she got into the race course. Um, a little bit of a hot filly. We've taken the tongue to off. I think she also wasn't the biggest fan of it. She's got a compression mask on uh, on Friday and hoping for improvement. She's over an extra 300 meters. Should do her well, but she needs to show improvement there. Spanish Fort is up next in race three. He really flew late in his last start, but he had left a little bit too much to do. Nick, you'll be hoping he can get a bit handier on Friday. Yeah, you know those old horses, they, they have uh, one one thing that goes wrong in the race and they never seem to pick it up and they show no interest. He got a little bit of a squeeze at the start and, and took no interest and he is better than that. Um, hoping for the best, hopefully everything goes well for him and uh, you know he is capable of finishing in the money so I wouldn't leave him out of quartets and pick sixes. This lady joining us in pick and giving me a few heart attacks with her teeth is uh, Winter Journey. We'll see her in race five. She's doing very well at home. Uh, she's got a beautiful coat on her. Um, her, she, her work has actually improved a hell of a lot since her last run. She was a little bit stiff last time, you know, she had mm. to travel a bit deep and I think she ended up going four wide. But, uh, you know, she's the type of filly who can get in on the action, but uh, I wouldn't be leaving out of any exotics and uh, she could be an, a worthy place bet. I must agree, Winter Journey always looks a quartet contender.